everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today we've got one of our faves and we are doing a vintage haul. I've been buying a little bit less on vintage just because <laughs> I'm trying all round. Like I do sell quite a bit on vintage, so I'm trying not to always spend all the money that I'm making on vintage but inevitably I always seem to anyway but I am trying to be a little bit stricter with myself but I'm still buying a fair amount and we're gonna go through it today you guys should already know by now but if not and if you're new here I have two snoring pugs you'll hear them already they're under the camera you'll hear them snoring throughout every single video of mine so I have a little bit of a mixture here of clothes pair of shoes and some makeup products that I'm going to go through with you and just to give you a little bit of a heads up there are a lot a lot of Vespa dresses in today's haul so when I went on holiday with my friend in September she let me borrow this dress from Vespa and I fell in love with it and ever since I've been looking for it on Vinted because it's sold out everywhere I haven't been able to find it but along the way, because I check every day for this dress still, so it's like, well, I've got two months later, I'm still checking every day for this dress. And my friend, she's so lovely, she's like, you can have my one, but she's never even worn it, and it's, you know, they're not cheap. So I'm going to keep trying to find it. Anyway, I'll pop up a picture up here of what I look like in it. But yeah, I just felt so great in it, and I've just been looking for it ever since. So inevitably i keep finding other vespa dresses that i really like on vintage and i thought i'd give them a try some have worked out for me some haven't and the ones that haven't i will be putting back on vintage but we'll go through that as we go along so i'm going to start off with the makeup -y bits lola is kindly keeping guard of all of the stuff so first off i got this huda beauty lipstick now i'd heard really good things about this formula i've only got the more matte formula this one is in sweet cheeks and i paid five pounds for this lipstick and here is what it looks like i have used it already it was brand new in the outer plastic packaging um but i wanted to give it a try and it's a really lovely nude and the formula does feel lovely as well so i definitely like to pick up some more of those and again i do keep chicken vintage regularly for the new ones especially now like some of the beauty calendars have come out and i know that people like unbox them early and get rid of them and again after christmas as well really good place to check out vintage and stuff because people get rid of the things that they don't want from their beauty calendars so yeah that's the first item and i really like it i then went for these rodeo soft focused glow drops now I got this in a box, I don't know, some sort of box last year and I love it. I haven't stopped using it. It's a really beautiful pink glowy primer. When I first saw it I was absolutely not interested and thought it's something that I'll never use. It looks too pink, just thought it wouldn't be for me. But actually I use it all the time as my primer and it's beautiful. Similar concept or idea to, you know, like the Charlotte Tilbury, whatever they're called, where you put it on... Well, obviously those ones you can wear as a foundation, can't you? But I couldn't, but some people can. But you smooth it onto your skin before putting your base on. It gives a lovely glowy sheen to your skin. You could definitely wear it without makeup on over the top as well if you like that sort of look. I actually mix mine in with my foundation as well as sometimes putting it on as a base. I really love it. I really, really like them. I paid £9.50 for that, which is a huge bargain compared to the full price. I've got about this much left of my other one. So once that one's finished, I'll move on to this one. I then picked up this Huda bronzer because I've been using a smaller one of this and I've hit pan on it and I really, really like it. They had this one for sale for £7 and they told me it was brand new. Of course it wasn't. It has been used. Honestly, those things don't really bother me because I just gave it a wipe over the top with like an antiseptic wipe. Let it dry out. So it doesn't really bother me. But I did message them and said like, you told me this is brand new and it clearly isn't. And they were like, oh sorry, I don't remember using it. But it's not just been used once it's been used a little bit so and you can see where it's been like properly used and loved so anyway i've given it a little clean they were like really apologetic i didn't give them negative feedback or anything but i did message them and say look i understand it's difficult vintage because vintage doesn't let you sell secondhand makeup but there is still an option to put in the description somewhere or just sell it on a different platform because i just think you should be honest about that stuff anyway it's a medium too like i said i got a smaller one and i've really been liking it so i thought for seven quid i'd get the bigger one I'm still happy with it like i said i gave it a clean it's not the end of the world i just hate being like the deceived i hate being deceived like that 
but it is what it is, ain't what it ain't. Then I got these pair of shoes and I was so happy. So I actually bought these shoes a few years ago from Primark. They're Primark heels, don't sleep on Primark heels and they became my favorite heels and I wore them to death and a few months ago I went out with my friend some girl trod on my foot the front of them broke they were on their way out anyway I mean they were a real state I'd worn them so much so I started looking for them on Vinted and someone was selling them in my size for three pounds I think they were like 12 quid originally I'm so happy so they're brand new I actually bought a pair of Vinted that are really similar to this but from Topshop thinking I could maybe dupe them out but they're quite a bit higher and when I put them on I'm like probably about six foot two maybe six foot three which is fine sometimes but a lot of my friends are like five foot one anyway love them they're so comfy mock croc brand new not been worn got this little buckle on the side and they're just so comfy to me like on a night out i can last all night in them i can dance all night i've got fluff on them yeah they're so comfy i love them so this girl she'd like trod her heel like went through here it really hurt my foot but it just snapped them off but like i said they were on their way out anyway i even said like that night when i was putting them on to my friend like these aren't going to last me much longer like i'm a little bit anxious to wear them out now because i know that they're going to break at some point but i got another pair and i'm so happy and honestly the other ones lasted me years like before i started filming youtube videos i'd had them for years got them in a size six and yeah i'm buzzing to have another pair okay let's move on to all the vespa dresses so, now actually weirdly enough vespa dresses in a 14 fit me whereas usually i'm a 16 at least but all of them are made out of this beautiful stretchy almost like spandex like material that holds you in all the right places and the 14s fit me perfectly so this first one i got again is in a 14 so it's this zebra print mini dress it's so cute guys it's got thick straps you'll be able to see better on the try on with all of these it's got thick straps and also inside it's got like an extra lining for your bust now one other really great thing with these dresses is that i find that i don't really need to wear a bra of any of them like all the try-ons i haven't got a bra on because where they are that sort of stretchy material they do hold the girls in place and they're just lined really really well this one has a invisible zip down the back in white it's really really pretty but i just don't feel great in it so this is one that i am gonna pop back on vinted i paid seven pounds for that dress which i think is a real good bargain and i'll pop it back on vinted for around the same so yeah um i'm glad i tried it you know you've got to try these things and it is a real bargain like this dress would have been a lot more expensive but this is quite a pricey brand not the most but definitely more pricey than a lot of places that we all shop so yeah that's that one okay next up is this little number and i love it i feel so great in it it's beautiful apart from the straps at the shoulder are a bit awkward it's obviously off the shoulder but the way it's sort of lined it makes this part on the bust like the triangles sort of ping out and all go in a weird shape so you know it's just something that i would still wear it and i'd still feel great in it but maybe something that I would maybe even tape to myself you know like a little bit of tip tape or something um but it is beautiful so it's this white bardo off the shoulder type dress and it has this stunning cut out again this is new with tags and a size 14 and i feel really good in it it's this lovely mini dress again you'll see better on the try on i say it's mini it goes below the knee like a pencil skirt it's stunning and then at the back it's a chunky black zip and i quite like that contrast it's so stretchy the material of these dresses is honestly amazing it's got so much stretch in it and it holds you in beautifully i paid 10 pounds for this dress brand new with tags i'm really really happy it definitely would have cost over 50 quid for this dress and yeah i just feel great in it i just need somewhere to wear it this dress dress would be lovely if any christmas party but i'm not sure if i'm going to any christmas parties yet um but even like next year if you were to go to the races or any sort of party where you really want to feel nice i would even wear this if i was going out for a date god forbid ever to like a nice fancy restaurant or something so yeah i love it i feel quite classy in it it's just really sexy but still modest yeah i love it i then got this navy one which is super long like it's really long it's beautiful however i got this one in a 16 and i can feel the difference it just does not hold me in the same again brand new with tags can you believe it beautiful strap detail it's really unusual it's sort of 
they curved outwards and go up over the shoulder but at the back it's stunning because it's a bit lower at the back but not overly so not too low like scary low it's not going below my back boobs but it just looks stunning it sort of goes into a little point lovely gold zip that runs all the way down absolutely beautiful this is a long dress really long about halfway up my curve calves even and it's this beautiful royal blue and look at the stretch of that fabric god guys if you want something to really sculpt you and hold you in lovely these dresses are ones to check out it's got this lovely sort of detail on the front which I did try and capture on the try on but that gives you such a beautiful shape as well it is beautiful I just I wish I had it in a 14 so again it's probably one that I am going to put back on vintage just because of the sizing which is so weird isn't it remind myself how much I paid for this one but I paid 10 pounds for that dress and again such a good price this would have been about 50 60 pounds if not more and yeah it's stunning but it's just that little bit just a little bit too big for me which again I say is weird because I am normally 16 to 18 but in these dresses I seem to be a 14 which I'm not complaining about then I got this one which I've been eyeing up on ASOS for ages and it had been worn once but it looks like it hasn't been worn at all a really great condition however I just don't like how this one looks on me this is a size 16 as well and it's I love the red and the pink like how beautiful is though are those colors together I love the contrast it's a one shoulder dress but I just don't ha like how it looks on my tummy um, so again the same material so nice and stretchy again I wonder if maybe a 14 would have been better for me although the fit does feel absolutely fine on this one it's got a red zip that runs down the back and it's just a lovely lovely dress I'm just so conscious of my tummy and I am sort of wearing like sculpting pants in the try on so like ones that should smooth you out a little bit not holding in but ones that should smooth you out I'm not keen on holding in ones because it has to go somewhere and I don't want it bulging out of my armpits so yeah again probably another one that I'll put back on vintage but I paid six pounds for that and I'm really chuffed with that I, and I'm glad I tried it because I was looking at it full price on ASOS when they had it in stock um, so yeah it's stunning I love the colors it just doesn't suit my body shape okay another Vespa dress I actually got this one off ASOS in the sale because it's the exact same as the black one that I was talking about at the beginning of this video but it's in orange so although I didn't get this from Vinted I have seen it on Vinted a few times I wanted to include it in here because this is almost like a Vinted slash Vespa haul anyway it's beautiful but I got it because in the sale on ASOS it went down to £15. This dress was about £60 originally. It went down to £15. If it's still in stock, I will link it below. But it's this beautiful rust orange colour with this bright orange straps and the tie at the bust. I was thinking as well, if I don't like it in the orange, I could dye it black potentially. So I'd have to talk to Marge about. But I think that potential is there. I got this one in a 14 as well. And it's such a long, lovely dress. And like I said, when I wore the black version of this, I just felt probably one of the best I've ever felt. I felt so great in it. So I thought I'd see what the orange one is look like. Now, the orange one, obviously, you can see a little bit more because it's not the black. But it's that stretchy material again. Fits me lovely. I can't believe the 14s fit me as well as they do. Um, at the bottom of the dress, so you've got this gold and black zip that runs all the way down. It's the same on the black one. And it just stops a little bit off the end the bottom of the dress it's just lovely it's got these lovely darts at the back that really cinch you in and it's just stunning I'm just not sure because I love how the black one looks so much I don't know if I like as much how the orange one looks although I do love the colors so maybe watching this back will help me out a little bit more decide but also I think I'm just going to talk to Marge and see if I can dye this one black I can't see why it would be a problem um any tips or tricks you know let me know down below but for 15 quid i wasn't passing it up and yeah i absolutely love it okay that's all the vespa dresses done so moving on to other brands i only got a couple more items left guys so i bought this two piece and i paid 19 pounds for both of these which i thought was really good so these are actually from misguided but i am going to be popping them back on vintage i think because i love the color god it's one of my favorite colors but I just don't like how it looks on me. And this is my problem with skirts. Like these skirts just never look great on me. But look at this stunning colour. Oh, isn't it beautiful? 
and it's got this double split at the front of this little skirt it's so lovely the skirts are the 16 still new with tags i have no idea how much it was originally but probably this on its own would have been around the 20 pound mark um yeah it's a really beautiful skirt if you can wear these sorts of skirts but all i can see is my tummy and i'm not bothered about my tummy showing but it is so obvious in this shape of skirt on me they just don't work and that's that i do try and i try and i try but it doesn't work i love the little slits in it as well and then to go with that as you would have seen on the try on it's got this beautiful matching blazer now the blazer doesn't actually have the tag on it but she said it is new and it's a 16 as well but it's a real oversized blazer big shoulder pads and it looks so much bigger than a 16 i would say it looks like an 18 20 but that would be because of the oversized look the color is stunning it's beautifully lined it has one little button on it which is a lovely purple as well little pockets which are real working pockets it's beautiful it's stunning it just doesn't look great on me i was really envisioning this little suit oh with like a little bra look underneath i thought it would look lovely i just don't feel good in it and even the jacket for me i've got so many blazers i don't need i love it i love the color i just feel like for me it's it just looks too big like even for an oversized one i don't know let me know if you know what i mean but this is one that i'll probably pop back onto vintage as well for the same price as i paid for it and last but not least i absolutely love this item i have washed it already but it's already covered in dog hair because you know it's story of my life this is also from this is from pretty little thing and it's actually a size 12 but it's super oversized so it's this blue like light blue and navy blue jumper dress but on me i'd wear it like just more as a jumper cycling shorts or leggings or whatever and it's super oversized so for a 12 this would have been huge like if you are a size 12 really nice back winged arms i love this like rugby style checker it's got the lovely logo on the front and the check does go around onto the back as well i paid four pounds for that so i'm really happy you can tell it's been worn quite a few times but it's got a good amount of life left into it and that's what using vintage is all about so i really really love that one like it's super comfy and cozy you'll see from the try on but yeah guys that's absolutely everything that i got in this vintage haul some hits some misses which is always the case when doing vintage but i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions down below let me also know if you've got any recommendations for me as well when searching on vintage i sort of once you've searched for one thing say if you search like pretty little thing and put your sizes in it does save that search the next time you go into your search tab it will have that and i have a few on there that i just click on every day or every other day that i like to keep checking on see if there's anything new on there and um, but of course you can filter through sizes filter through prices all that sort of thing but i like to sort of look every day or quite regularly and see just what's new in my necklaces are so tangled how do other people like layer all these necklaces and they never get tangled yeah so i like to like look at what's been new newly added um yeah so i love i really really love vintage and i sell things on there all the time as well so i will link my vintage down below if you do want to check it out um but thank you so much for watching guys i really really do appreciate it as always and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!